On fourth down, on is Corey Bajorquez to punt. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a pro spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. The Charger drive about to get going. And they'll start from their own five, so you'd have to imagine they'll stay conservative. On first and ten, Herbert. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. And he'll go out of bounds after getting this across the 15. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did, and they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Here's Herbert. He finds his target, Allen. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. To back good plays have them on the move on first down here's Herbert escaping the pressure right he's airing it out for Williams this is caught inside the 15 and with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Hopkins' kick is good. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Browns going to see the football first, but they trail here as we resume play on EA Sports. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Browns drive about to get started. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Watson. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. 
And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. And until that point, we haven't seen Julio Jones. That's hard to believe here this late in the game. And no one more frustrated than Julio Jones because receivers feed off of catches. That's their fuel, and that's also their affirmation. And he hasn't been getting much of that in this game, and their team is losing, and he wants to have a better effect on the game. Just the first connection, Ryan to Jones there. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. They give the Chubb out of the gun. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Here's Watson. Caught by Jones. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. But look what we have here. A sustained drive, and that was certainly a wall in the first half. They really struggled to try and move the football. But right now, they certainly seem to have the formula working. Let's see if they can keep it up. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Watson now to throw. This is caught. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Chubb. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. They'll run for it. Chubb. And he'll wind up being knocked back to the three-yard line. The run is turned away on fourth and goal from the two. And this shutout is going to continue as the defense holds again. The Charger drive about to get going. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Now it's second and nine. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. Now room for Eckler. And he's got room. And down to the 28-yard line. 84 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Now a handoff looking right, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they've stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting 
and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. From the gun, Herbert on third down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Williams. And he is going to have the Chargers first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. the gun Eckler running it and they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game they're a little bit slower that front seven reacting to the football almost like body blows in boxing slowing them down and they're really starting to take over in this game they'll try and run for it on first and goal and he'll go backwards losing yardage to the five a loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. This is obviously a critical sequence for this defense if they want to stay in this game. Down two scores already. They give up a touchdown here. That'll make things really difficult for their offense moving forward. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. Going to give this time to the tailback. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. How about this Browns defense? They've held so far. This is now third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And this time he is in. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Chargers are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that pushes the lead up to 23. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Browns drive about to get started. And their four-game win streak very much in jeopardy as they go to work here late with a first and ten. Watson's throw pulled in by Schwartz. And he's brought down after a very nice game. From the 50, it's Watson. Eluding the pressure right. Looking sideline incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Throwing again is Watson. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. A big connection on that one. 39 yards. Well, that's something you haven't had to talk about much this game. A nice big play right there. But this team, overall, they haven't done a whole lot offensively. Well, they're still sitting on the goose egg. We talk about defenses having pride in a shutout. This offense wants to get rid of that zero. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Julio Jones. His second touchdown on the season. And the Browns are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Now the Browns offense will stay on the field as they'll go for two here. Looking to maybe throw for it here, Watson. And he's going to get into the end zone for two. And they're back within two scores. Down 15 now. Set now to kick this one away. And off it goes. Looking up into the roof, and he muffs it. It's loose. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. 
The Charger drive about to get going. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target, and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. The Chargers on third down. No problems to this point. A perfect five for five. This is third down and 12. Justin Herbert looking to pass. He'll buy some time right toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Yeah, they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Now a timeout coming in here defensively as they stop it before the two-minute warning with 2.09 to go in the game. try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground and that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Now they try the right side here. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. It's Herbert. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. 
The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. Here's J.K. Scott now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. This will be taken at the 10. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And the Browns will take over first and 10. The Browns drive about to get started. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this... Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. So 